Hello friends, how are you all? Uh, I welcome you all to Dr. Rohini's 3, a channel dedicated to women's health. Uh, in my last video, I had uh, mentioned to you about um, the, how to identify when your daughter is going to attain menarche and what is our responsibilities as a parent and all those things. Today, I'm going to um, uh, talk about why the girls are attaining menarche earlier when compared to our uh, previous generation. Uh, as per the new definition, the normal age to attain menarche is uh, now 10 years to 15 years. Um, to know why, uh, we are, let us try to understand what are the reasons why uh, we are attaining menarche, girls are attaining menarche nowadays at 10 years, 11 years, like that. Uh, one of the most important factor which decides when a girl attains menarche is age at which her mother attained menarche, that is, it is hereditary. In 50 to 75 percent of the times, the age of the mother uh, when she attained menarche decides when a daughter has attained menarche. In remaining 25 to 30 percent of the cases, there can be factors like the environmental, other factors like the environmental factors. Among those factors, the most important factor is obesity. Uh, obesity is the childhood obesity has become more rampant now. Uh, how, how obesity will cause uh, early menarche is like uh, fat cells secrete a hormone called as leptin. And this leptin will have effect on the hypothalamus and pituitary and it uh, induces them to secrete the um, sexual hormones. And once the effect of these sexual hormones starts on the body, it's difficult to stop it. You cannot reverse it. So it is important for us to you know understand and try to prevent it rather than uh, trying to tackle it after everything, all the changes starts. What are the reasons for obesity? One of the most important thing is in this generation is the screen time, the TVs, gadgets and mobiles. So the kids are getting it so easily and it's so handy for them. So one and once they get addicted to that, uh, they're addicted to that level that they don't even realize. Once they start watching that, they don't, don't even realize uh, in which world they are. They're completely unaware of their surroundings. So when they become like that, the, their interest in the physical activity is completely zero. They don't like to go out, they don't like to uh, play, they don't like to interact with others. So it's having a lot of effects on the kids and one of the bad effects is obesity because of this. The another reason for the obesity is the junk food, the processed food, the packed food, the ready-made food which we are getting these days. Uh, it has become uh, very common because it's very easy to access also and it lessens our work. So we are so much behind this uh, ready-made food. The ready-made food, the problem with the ready-made food, it is full of calories, but the nutrient, it's very poor in the nutrients. So that is another reason why the obesity is increasing. The third reason why the obesity is increasing is the parental pressure on the kids, which is causing more of mental stress. Uh, the parents are behind the kids. To, uh, they want their kids to be uh, achieve achiever in everything, whatever they do, which is not practical. So even though we are not able to see the stress on the kid's face, it is the effect is already there on the body. So please don't uh, put so much of pressure on your kids. Uh, don't expect them to be an achiever in everything. Uh, this is another reason why the obesity is increasing. So to reduce obesity, one of the most important thing you need to do is uh, increase their physical activity. In the olden days and all, we used to go out of the house and we used to play a lot. And But that uh, uh, opportunities are very less. I agree with that. But there are many other opportunities which has opened up now. Like we have many physical activity classes available. It can be a dance or it can be any sports activity, football, uh, karate, swimming, anything. Whichever the physical activity the child is interested, you can uh, encourage them to um, uh, join those classes and that help them, you know, like to have a good physical activity, good mental growth, more interaction with others and it helps uh, to reduce the obesity also. The other thing is how you uh, put the, the junk food. Tell me how many of your kids of this generation are happy to eat the fruits, vegetables, green leaves, all these things, are they happy to eat uh, uh, 
uh, are they eating it willingly or because of our force so this is something this is this is some change which is you know not a good change which is not acceptable uh, it's normal for kids to get attracted towards the sweets or this junk foods because it is they don't know what is good and bad what is right and what is wrong as a parent it is our responsibility to make them understand that what is good what is bad what is healthy what is unhealthy and all these things but it uh, believe me it doesn't happen in one or two days it takes years whenever you get an opportunity whenever you get uh, uh, time it's it's our responsibility to re reinforce to keep on telling them beta this is not good this is this is good try to eat this try to not to develop that habit it's our responsibility believe me i mean it, it should sink into their mind it takes time and as they grow up it, subconsciously it will be in their mind that okay this is not good this is good and they will try to slowly inculcate those good habits in their lifestyle in future so and also as a parent um, we should follow a good lifestyle healthy lifestyle and we should become a role models to our kids because kids you kids uh, easily follow what we do not what we say so as a parent it's our moral responsibility to follow a healthy lifestyle and teach our kids the other important reason the second important reason why the uh, the girls are attending menarche early is nowadays we are more exposed to something called as endocrine disrupting chemicals edc it is there it is very rampant in our environment and one of the best example i can say is soy based products soy preparation the processed soy based products uh, like example it can be a soy milk soy sauce or soy oil or high energy protein bars or it can be there in many of the foods which we eat like breads cookies biscuits uh, it can be in anything and uh, it's a good habit to check the ingredients whenever you are buying the food packets and um, uh, what 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 does the soy do to us the soy contains a lot of phytoestrogens so this uh, they act as estrogens in our body and that is how the the effect on the body is increase uh, it increases and then uh, it uh, the girls are attaining uh, menarche early so another one example which i can give you where there is endocrine disrupting chemicals is the pesticides which we use for our crops for foods and to grow the, while we are going growing our foods and uh, vegetable uh, fruits and vegetables so how to remove this one of the practical tip which i can give you to reduce the effect of this pesticides is uh, before before using the fruits and vegetables when you're washing it instead of just washing in a plain water soak keep it in uh, Uh, put it in a water for 15 to 20 minutes and add either soda uh, either baking soda or vinegar or a common salt which we use leave it for 15 to 20 minutes and then thoroughly wash it so this removes most of the pesticides which is there in the uh, fruits and vegetables which makes it safer for us to eat and that reduces the effect of those endocrine disrupting chemicals on our, on our body the other important thing which could be the reason is uh, using those hormone treated uh, uh, chicken and meat all those products so nowadays they are using the in, they are injecting the hormones to these hens on this la, the this meat products and all to get you know to yield a, uh, more product in a shorter period of time which is actually not healthier so those hormones can have effect on our children's body and that can also uh, one or could be one of the reason for uh, for the increasing trend of attaining menarche early and also it's a good habit to use organic foods to reduce the effect of this pesticides and all it's a good habit to use organic foods whenever possible so i think if we try to follow all these healthy habits if we try to inculcate all these healthy habits in our kids life also to some extent it will definitely help uh, our daughters or kids to you know uh, lessen uh, or uh, reduce or help them to you know postpone the age of menarche to some extent i think for today this is enough in my next video i will uh, i will uh, in for give you the details about what is precocious puberty what is delayed puberty and all those things let us discuss in our coming videos till then take care namaste if you like these videos please like comment and share and for more updates on women's health please subscribe to my channel Thank you.